Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Let's take a quick look at Caspio's newest feature, ability to select multiple checkboxes on dropdowns and list boxes. Let's take a look at a live example before I show you how to configure this new feature inside Caspio. Here I have a fictitious patient intake form. And on my form I have a dropdown that now allows me to select multiple options at a time. So I can select one at a time or if I would like to select all of my options, I will go all the way down to the Select All checkbox and click on that. We also have a list box that allows us to do a multi-select. So similar how you do a checkbox, except now the view is different. We have a list box enabled and we can also do a select all on the list box. So it's up to the user, whatever preference you have, you can either go with a multi-select dropdown or a multi-select list box. Let's go ahead and log into Caspio now and let me show you how easy it is to set up this functionality. Once you're inside your Caspio account, go directly to your tables and either click on the new table to create a new one if you don't already have one or click on a pre-existing table and open up the design mode. Go ahead and create a field for the one where you want to have a multi-select checkbox. In my example, I called my fields existing condition and allergies. In my existing condition, you're now going to see a new data type option available in the dropdown, and we have three different data types here. We have list for string if you're collecting textual data, we have list number if you're collecting numbers in multi-select, and we also have list date, so if you're building like an event management or some kind of appointment tracking app where you need to select multiple dates at a time, you're going to select list date. In my example, I'm using list string for both of them. And once you select this option as your data type, look over on the right hand side, you're going to see the options menu and this is where you're going to list all of the values that you would like to have in your list. You can either create your own custom values, which is what I'm doing in this example, or you can import a list from a different table by clicking on this icon, selecting your table, and then selecting a specific field that contains those values. In the next release, we're going to give you the ability to link to a table, but as of right now, we only have the ability to import a list by specifying a field from a different table. Down here below, you can add a new value. You can remove a single value or delete all of the values. You can also rearrange the values if you'd like, and you can also sort from A to Z or Z to A. For my allergies field, here are all of my values that I've added as custom values. Once you list all the values in your options, you're going to save your table, go directly to your data pages, and if you don't have a data page created, just click on new data page at the top or edit a pre-existing data page. Let's include those two fields in our form. So here are the two fields in the form that we have from the table. Now that I have my existing condition highlighted, You'll see on the right side under form element, you can either specify this to be a multi-select dropdown or a multi-select list box. It's up to you whatever preference you have. Once you choose that option for dropdown, down below you have a field option to show select all. And if you enable this checkbox on the form for the dropdown, you're going to have this capability to select all values inside a list. Same thing applies to the allergies field, so if you select that option, you're going to see how I selected the list box from the dropdown. I have select all enabled as well, that's why on my form, you can see how my list box is showing select all checkbox, which quickly allows me to either select all or deselect all of my values. The multi-select checkbox on the dropdown and list box can also be enabled on the search form. However, please note that as of right now, the search form only contains the AND condition in between the values. So if you're searching for aspirin and metal, and if somebody in your table only has aspirin, it's not going to pull up that result because it's looking for both of these values. Same thing applies for the drop-down multi-select. In the upcoming release, we are going to have this capability to do the OR condition in between the values, but as of right now, as I mentioned, we can only do the AND condition. Once you select your options and click search, you should be able to see the results. I'm using a tabular format in the results page, and you can specify how you want your list to look like on the results page. 
You can do a simple list, you can do a bulleted list, or you can use a numbered list the way you display the values on the results page. You can also enable this in the details view, and in the details view you can play around with the settings and how you want your list to appear once it's on the details view. This concludes the video on the newest feature on multi-select checkbox on list boxes and drop downs. We hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please contact us and somebody from the Caspio team should be able to assist you. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are releasing a lot of videos on our channel. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, please use the comment section to let us know. Thanks for watching again and have a great day. Bye-bye.